Norman Lindsay, an Australian artist, is known for his buxom women. He was accused of being pornographic in his time, and it's uncertain what to make of his art in terms of whether it's art. Robert Hughes has written a book, The Art of Australia, that notes that Lindsay is a uniquely Australian artist for a number of reasons. But what I want to focus on here is something that really no one that I've seen has commented on, which is the comic art of Norman Lindsay. The question, is there any value to it? Norman Lindsay has written that the comic art that he made, which was in numerous dailies, uh, but in particular a, a weekly called The Bulletin, um, that it was a training ground for him to learn how to be a draftsman with the pen, but in particular he is proud of the humor. The question is does the humor stand up and secondly does the art stand up? As we look at the art of the cartoons of Norman Lindsay I'm going to say that it appears to me to be derivative. If you look at early cartoonists from the 20s and 30s, going back though to the late 1800s, this is the exact style you will see. There is no, nothing original uh, to Norman Lindsay's cartooning. It serves its purpose for the time, but doesn't last. It has no effect today that holds the reader's interest, or for that matter, the artist's interest. The humor also, in my opinion, doesn't hold up. It, what was very common at the time was to do situational humor, um, add verses and droll uh, commentary. But I think uh, today there's just a much greater cynicism and appreciation of irony and subtlety. What I got from this is that humor has evolved and changed. What people think is funny today doesn't translate to the past. And so the verdict on Norman Lindsay's cartoon art, a historical artifact, completely forgettable.